Hello, Dr. Tillman. Uh, this is Norman. Okay, you were asking about the solid coupler. Well, here it is. I hope this is a good enough picture for you. Uh, when I had to make it, uh, I figured a 3 inch plate and then an uh, inch and 5 eighths for the, uh, uh, the depth of my. Uh, Hello, Dr. Tillman. Today is uh, uh, good morning. Hello, Dr. Tillman. This is the uh, solid motor coupler you were asking about. Sorry it took so long, but I've had a, been kind of busy. Uh, my motor coupler is exactly five inches long. The shaft is four and a half, and then this here being the center hub of the uh, my clutch is uh, anyway from top to bottom is uh, exactly five inches. I had uh, took a uh, in one of the previous videos you saw I took a uh, carpenter square, put it across the front of the of the transmission, and uh, measured back to the length of the splines. And the end of the splines was one inch, one and five eighths of an inch. So anyway, there we go. Uh, pulled the motor out. I'm going to have the uh, I'm gonna paint all the uh, steel. Should have done it already, but it's been kind of busy. <coughs> okay, just uh, letting you know. Also, uh, I've got a new set of brushes and brush box coming. I had a brush box failure again. Uh, Well, we were trying to run it too hard and uh, on the Mazda, and anyway, my brother was trying to. Well, this is our solid motor coupler. This is our adapter plates. Uh, it's a 15 inches in diameter, and then uh, this has been milled out to the exact face plate of the motor. So once you pull these bolts off, that is a still a really, really tight fit. Uh, I'm having my motor, I'm going to pull it apart today, and I'm going to have the commutator turned down. I have, if you listen, let me turn on this side. I got one, I got a spot on the commutator, and it's uh, eating up the brushes.